Hi and welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to introduce you to different starter tricks that you should know. In previous videos, we showed you how you can import different data sets of different file types into Stata and how you can edit them, visualize them and many other tricks. If you didn't watch the previous video, we recommend you watch them before you come to this one. Okay, let us start. And this video we are going to start importing our data set into Stata. Our data set is a file which is Excel. It's an Excel file. I first open it to see um, the variables, the data that we have in this file. Here we have different variables which occupy the first row of our Excel file. So we have ID, motor status, education, age, lung cancer, gender weight, drinking alcohol, smoking, physical exercise. So we want to import this data set into Stata. I have first to copy the directory. As I showed you in the previous videos, when you want to import something in Stata, you better uh, import it from its directory, its location. So now use the command import Excel, import Excel, quotations, you copy the directory, you bring the name of the file because a folder can have different files. You better bring this file, okay? After you bring the file, you copy it there, okay? The file name is data Excel data stata, but is it a Word document? Is it a PowerPoint? Is it an ARA document? Is it Jupyter notebook? Is it what? To differentiate this, to let Stata know this is an Excel file, we will say this is XRSX, which is an extension for Excel files. Then you put into quotation. Then the here the Stata will know the file is there and it has a location, so it will be easy to retrieve it to browse it into Stata. But you also need to tell Stata that the first law of this state this file this excel file it is a column name it is like um it is a variable list it's a variable names so you have to say first row this first row will inform stata that the first row is not data value it is variable name okay after you type this and you are sure your command is well written you have to hit enter when you hit enter, as you can see now, we have variables, so the data are there. So to browse them or to visualize, you can hit brew and hit enter, then you visualize your, your data set. So it looks like an Excel file. Okay, so I showed you how you can edit, how you can make changes to this data set in the previous videos. Please make sure you have watched them. So now. What I want here, I want to rename variables and label different values. Let us say, for example, this ID. This ID, I want to rename it, and the command will be the name. Remember, the variable and the label, they are two different things. They are like the variable name, it's a short name. It's a name which does not contain a space, meaning it may not be well written. It can be like an abbreviation. But when it comes to the label, it's a a space whereby you can write your full name of a variable. Okay, rename ID. It's better you bring it, okay? You can go there and you bring it like this to avoid any typing error. After you you show or you like write stata now the new name, which is like identification. Rename, existing name, new name. Okay, then you hit enter which means the ID here will change to identification. What if I want to change the label? Okay, label means you label variable, because here you have to mention the variable that you are going to change its label, okay? A label, variable, okay, this one, identification, okay, then you change, you highlight or you, you let Stata know the new name identification of respondent. Now, since this one is a very large name which co may contain different characters, including the space, 
it's better you put it in the file then you hit enter as you can see there the identification has changed to identification of respondent this is how you can do it to many other variables okay hope you can see this now let us continue with other tricks that are very very crucial to run in this data what if i want like to drop any variable you drop meaning you remove you remove variable if i want to drop drinking smoking for example i click to smoking there then i hit enter smoking is gone okay this is how you can remove one or more variables if you want to remove more variables drop smoking space drinking space age space whatever so it will remove all the mentioned variables hope you get it so this is how you can remove different um different uh variable now let us uh come back to our data set if i go to this data set i can see that the motor status it has varies numerical values yet me i want to have like rebels i want to i want to have value value rebels so here i want to change this motor status into single married divorced separated and so on so i want first of all to visualize or to tabulate this motor status to know which is the minimum value what is the maximum value and so on how the values are they are, are like listed so the motor status is has four values one which is around one Three, three observations to 116 observations and so on so but me i don't want it to be displayed the way it is there i want one to be single two married three divorced and four separated what do i do so i have to use a command which is rebel define rebel define command will help me to define new value value uh rebels from the values i had so meaning rebel define Rebo define what this motor status okay Rebo define motor status one should be single two becomes married okay quotations don't forget quotation please three separate separate okay divorce it hope you know the difference between divorce and separate there are two different things <laughs> so four is is separated okay rebo define a variable name one this one two this one three this one four this one then you hit enter after this the command it has two lines that is the first line the second line is rebo values this is like to confirm the new variables that i give to my data set confirm like rebo values motor status okay motor status again motor status so this is like a second command to confirm what i did from the previous instruction then label values it is well written i have it like that when i tap again motor status i tap the motor status i will have wow one has changed it to single two to married three divorced four separated i no longer have numbers which are may not have a meaning but here i have a very meaningful data values hope you can see this very easy you can change the age you can change the gender here let's say first of all we have to visualize the gender and see uh, the values we have there because we may not have one and two or three we may have zero and one we may have five and six so we have to visualize first oh we have one and two which one do we have to like change to male okay so label it depends define gender okay gender one to male okay two to female okay oh sorry male okay fine so label define gender one male two female hit enter rebel values just to confirm what i did gender gender make sure the way gender is written it is like that because this data is case sensitive you should not change the name 
to capital meter or small rate. So it is like that. But if I tabulate again gender to see the change made, whether the change were made. Oh, gender for all. Okay. Wow. One has changed to male, two has changed to female. Now I can do visualization such as graphics, such as other analysis and so on. This is good, but we have things that we need to learn. I may have a variable such as age, and I want to have different categories depending on the values. Say, for example, this one is adolescent, adults, and all, depending on the values, just to categorize. So, you know, there for marital status and gender, we had values, and it was easy to give variables to those values. But what if now I have continuous variables like gender, discrete variables, like whatever. So weight is continuous variable. How can I have like, this is underweight, this is normal weight, this is overweight, this is obese. How can I have those categories? Now, follow this. The new command is called record. Record what? Let us start from, for example, uh, the, the age. Okay, before you do any command, please summarize. Because this is a, a continuous variable, or discrete variable, it's better you summarize to see values, how values are, how values are distributed, the distribution, the statistics, and so on. You bring age there. Oops. We have 493 observations. The mean age is 39 years old, around 14. The standard deviation is 14. So the minimum, the youngest person has is 15 years old. The maximum is 65 years old. Now I have a view. I have information about age. I can categorize. Okay, so record. Let's, for, for example, say I want people under 20 years to be adolescent. I want from 20 to 40 years to be adults, and I want the remaining one to be old. Okay, label age. Okay, from the minimum value, okay, from the minimum value to 20. Okay, from the minimum value to 20, I have, I have, it should be equal to one. Okay, this is good that you have to first equalize to a numerical value, then you come back labor defining those values. It's good, I recommend that. Okay, it's not like I can say mean to 20 and I have uh, adolescent like that. No, no, no. It's better you change to numerical values, then you come back changing into um, the other values like you labor define as we did above. So 40, I have to. From 40 to the maximum value possible, I have 3. Then, remember this age, it is one variable. And the changes I'm making, they should not apply into this variable. It's better I create, okay, a new variable, which is called, for example, age category. And this variable will help me to store new values according to my classification. Okay, I hit enter. What do they say? They say 493 differences be between age and age category. Should I browse and see the change? Yes. Here we have a new variable which is age category. A new variable that we, we have generated depending on the classification of age. Now, as I have one, two, and three, if you want these, a new variable, you, if you want like to have it tabulate and see, you will have one. How many people with one? Okay, 63 observations. How many with two? 187, three, 243, and so on. Okay, now I want to change those numbers into variables. You are right. Label define, okay, you remember? Age category. Okay, we have it as this one, age category, one, meaning, meaning uh, uh, young, okay, two, meaning, yes, 
and 3 meaning old. Okay, as you have that, you hit enter. What is the next command? Label values. Label values, H category. And again, H category. I told you the reason. We have to type it twice, then enter. What if I tabulate again H category to see if the change has been made? Wow. I have the youngest, the youngest people, 63 observations, 63 young people. I have others, I have old people. So the change has been made. Wow, excellent. This is good. This is how now you can change the variable, like, like the age, like the salary, like whatever, by recording into different values. As you can see there, also we have, we have, age category which is which is this one you understand this so we can have we can apply this to all other other values that we have okay hope you enjoyed this uh, video so we have more videos on this and we are here to explain from scratch this theta and other statistical softwares like spss csplo uh, Excel is a program that is widely used for data manipulation, data analysis. It's a very good program. You can watch our videos on Excel. Very excellent. They may help you grow your professional like uh, practices with Excel. You will, we will have also videos on R, on Python, and other different programs that you can learn from this video. Don't hesitate to share this video to your friends. Please let your friends know that this channel is here for you to run everything simply. Simply and in easier way than other YouTube videos, than other YouTube channels. We are here to explain each and everything practically. So thank you. Stay tuned. See you in next video.